Welcome back to the channel folks. This is daily update for Mullen stock. And before we begin about the chart analysis, there's a burning question that everybody has right now. Will Mullen be able to deliver the class one EV to Randy Marion Automotives? That's the biggest question right now. As we know, the date is coming up. They're supposed to deliver those vans by March 31st and collect $200 million. But I want to show you guys and I want to read between the lines and, and, and sort of a fine print here. And I Personally, I'm leaning for I'm leaning toward that maybe they might not be able to deliver those EVs. And I'll show you and I'll ask for your opinion as well. Before that, I want to remind everybody the stock, you know, came down today. Always remember that we have these warrants that were exercised on March 7th. 178 million share warrant was which was exercised, and 338 million shares were exercised on March 7th and March 10th. Okay. Stock was hovering around 23 cents, 22 cents around that time. And then steady coming down because they kept selling. There's so much inventory right now that the soon the stock had and they bought it for 10 cents, by the way. So they bought it for 10 cents and they want the stock to stay above 10 cents to make profit, right? So they, they brought it down all, all, almost to 12 cents. At this point, a little bit of manipulation happened, brought it back to 14 cents. Again, there's a little bit of an uptrend happens to the stock. You know, everybody jumps in because they think the stock is about to take off. This is what you call manipulation. So this is where they would go ahead and sell you the stock. So I'm on a 30-minute chart right now. So 60 million shares were sold during this period. Again, they said there's a lot of shorting. No, there's only 11 person are being shorted. So even if you take 11 person out of 60 percent, you still have majority of the shares sold by the people who has exercised their warrant. So let's go back to our burning question. Okay, will Mullen be able to deliver those class one EVs to Randy Marion? Okay, I want to read the tweet that he did. And of course, I want to read it carefully how we want to read this. Okay, let's take a look. I believe we have all the pieces in place between our product factories and strategic expertise to execute on our plan to deliver our class one and class three vehicles this year. Now, this is again from David Mishri. This is in quotation. So exactly word to word. That's what he said. And he says, furthermore, we continue to invest and move at a fast clip with the Mullen 5 program, which will soon be approaching vehicle engineering freeze, allow us to move into the next phase of crossover program. Now, the point I want to make here is that he said this year, he never said March, right? He could explicitly said that class one's coming up in March and class three, whenever, you know, whenever this year, whatever, you know, but he never said March. Now, I know that is too specific, but everybody knows about the March date. So it's not like he doesn't know, like everybody knows about it, right? He could have addressed it. He never said March, okay? Now, I have not seen any updates on this that they are going to deliver these Class 1 EVs to Randy Marion on March. They, they There's nothing, uh, you know, there's speculations, of course, but there's no concrete uh, update from Mullen or, or, or anybody from that perspective that, okay, this is definitely... We have the cars ready. I mean, the van's ready and they're ready to be delivered. So I don't personally, I don't think it's actually happening on March 31st. I don't think they're able to deliver this. So and my take is that I don't think the cars, the vans are getting, sorry, I keep saying car. The vans are not getting delivered. This is my take on this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section because I think this is important, right? He did say this year, but he never said March, right? At this point, I want to be very specific. I want to know did he say March or did he not say March? So he didn't say March. And I want to take that as like, you know, maybe we maybe not ready because he's going to come back and say that, oh, because I said this year, we never said March, right? So as I said, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And also, you know, when you trade this stock, always know that there were big warrants exercised and a lot of inventory sitting here that's trying to be sold. Uh, so don't fall in the manipulation. Of course, I'm for the stock. I'm not here to add mouth the stock in any way. I definitely like the company. I had a lot of faith in the company. But again, uh, there's days that, you know, I lose faith on the company. You know, there's a lot going on, a lot of stuff that, you know, we don't understand in the back end. But again, you know, return rushes are on top of this. So I'm hoping that, you know, we'll get a pump on the stock soon. Hope you guys are liking this daily videos and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.